post detection, post detection, post detection. There are a lot of post detection models out there, but currently, trust me on this one, Yolunar's post detection is the most accurate and efficient post detection model out there. That's why in this tutorial, we are not just going to run inference, but I'm going to teach you how to extract important features such as the bounding box, the pose or the key points, the key point colors, the edge colors, the edge links, the scores, and anything you will ever need to build your next pose based project. If you are much excited about this tutorial, Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and also most importantly, put on the notification bell icon on so that you don't miss any of my future tutorial. Without wasting much time, let's roll into this awesome tutorial. Alrighty guys, and welcome back. We start off by importing the libraries we'll be using for this particular tutorial. Don't worry about installation because I will make sure I put the requirement.txt file along with the code and all the files we'll be using in this particular tutorial on my GitHub repository where you can leverage it and use it for yourself. The link of my GitHub repository will be under the video description. So we'll start off by importing some libraries from SuperGradient. SuperGradient is a Yolunas library made by Desi. So I'll just paste some of the things will be importing from their particular library here. We we'll import super gradient and also from super gradient dot training we we'll import models. We we'll also import uh, the post visualization from super gradient so that we can use it to visualize our post. In addition to that, we we'll also import OPCV, which is CV2 in this case. Then finally, we are going to import the touch module. So these are all the imports we need for now. The next step here is to bring in our video we'll be using so we can say our video is equal to this and then we can go ahead and specify the path. So I have a video in a folder on my desktop. So I'll just go here and copy the path of the particular video I'm going to use. Feel free to modify the path to your own video. So I'll put it here. Make sure I bring R here so that everything will load and the name of the video is 10.mp4 the name is kind of weird but we are going to use it okay so this is the first thing we'll do and we have done it successfully so this is the path leading to the video we are going to use for this particular tutorial okay so the next step is to check whether we are having gpu so this is optional if you have gpu on your device you can go ahead and do this step if you don't feel free to skip this step and everything will work fine on your cpu I guess that your speed will not be higher as compared to GPU. So say our device is equal to CUDA and that's if touch.cuda dot is available else we are going to use our CPU. So we are checking whether we have GPU. If we have GPU, we'll use it. If we don't, we'll go with our CPU. So we can print device here and when we run the code, when you have GPU or CPU, it will be printed in your terminal. So we are, we are going to read in the Yolunas model. So we we'll say our model is equal to super gradient dot training dot models. Then you add the dot get to it. Then inside here, you have to specify the particular model type you want to use because your lunars have different pose model. They have the large model, they have the small model, and they also have the medium model. So in this particular tutorial, we are going to use the large model. Before we type in the model, a quick notice is that all the models are accurate. So far, is the state of the art pose detection model. But just that when you use the bigger ones, your speed reduces drastically unless you are having bigger or higher graphics card that can run it in real time so i will type in yolunas that should be underscore underscore pose underscore l which in this case l stands for large so we are going to utilize the large model then the next thing i have you specify here is pre-train so pre-train weights and you have to equate this to cuckoo so um 
cocoa so we are using the cocoa weight so cocoa underscore post and that's it then in order to use our gpu you just have to add dot to the inside here you add your device that we've checked beforehand which is here okay so now we are done with loading in our model the next thing we'll do is to load in our video capture so the video we are bringing in here we have to load it with opcv so that we can be able to send this video feed into the model for the model to do its predictions so for that we say cap is equal to cv2 the video capture and in here we just specify the path to our video which is here so in case you want to use your camera you can just put in zero here or if you have many cameras you can try zero one two and so on but in this case we are running inference on a video file so we can just put in the video here and everything will work okay so since it's a video the next thing you do is to take it in a while loop so we say while true we are going to read in our video file okay so while true our video here is going to cap dot read we are re reading our video file this return another key thing that we don't need for now that's the presence or the absence of a video file if you don't have a video file this returns you a boolean value which is false in case you have a video file to return true and everything will proceed so um now that we've gotten our video feed we have to go ahead and show this video feed so to show this video feed we use cv2 dot am show and in here we provide a frame name and the video we want to show so in this case we want to show video after showing this video we have to wait so we use the wait key function so a wait key of one for videos and zero for images okay so now we can test this out and see whether or not everything is working so i'll run this code right here and let's see what happens alright so you can see our video file has been loaded successfully and it's playing but the problem here is that the video file is too big so we need to resize it so that is our next step so i'll come to the top here and i'll take our video and resize it so we say video is equal to cv2 then we'll use the resize function and then in here we give it our video frame and also we give it the size we want so um i'll do this 1020 by 720 feel free you can change this to be either big or small so uh, we are giving it our height and our width respectively and now if you run it our video will be resized into this appropriate shape okay so the next thing we have to do is now send this video field for our model to predict the points or the pose for us so what we can say here is that our model prediction is equal to then we call our model dot predict method and in here you give it our video file and um, you can also specify the confidence value so you can say conf is equal to and i will put it at 50 percent and that's it and with this our model return to us some predictions so to every post detection model there are some key things or there are some relevant things we need so the first thing we will need is the bounding box so the bounding box around the particular object detected the second thing we need is the post so the coordinates for the post so each point on the uh, body we want that particular point we also need the score for each detected post we need the edge link we need the edge color and finally we need the key point colors so we have to go ahead and extract all these things from our model and all those things are stored in our model prediction so we start off by checking for the bounding box so we say our bb boxes and this is equal to our model prediction so before we get a bounding box we can come at the top here in order to make our life much simpler we say prediction is equal to our model prediction and at the first index we are going to take everything dot predictions 
so that's it so now we can use this prediction here to get our bounding box our pose our score edge link edge color and the key points so simply to get the bounding box now you can see our bounding boxes is equal to prediction dot boxes vb boxes dot x y x y so it's in this format x y x y and we'll go ahead and also get our poses so we see our poses is also equal to prediction dot poses that's it as simple as it is you can get your pose we'll do the same thing for the score and finally i'll do it for the remaining ones so that we can proceed all right guys so these are the important things we need from our pose model so we need our bounding box we need our pose we need our scores we need our edge link edge color and the key point colors so now that we've gotten this the next step is to visualize our pose on our video feed so that's why we've imported this particular pose visualization from super gradient so we we'll use that to visualize our poses on every object detected in our video frame so let's go ahead and do that which is the last thing in this particular tutorial so for that we will define our video and this is equal to post visualization and in here we'll specify all this particular data we've gotten from our module And that is it guys so we've added all we've extracted at the top here we've also added some couple of things such as the joint thickness the box thickness the key point radius so these are additional steps we've added but since we are having some error somewhere so um up here this should be boxes underscore x y x y and also for the pose visualization we have to add dot draw poses and that's it so error fixed now and we can go ahead and test this on our video file so let's run the code and see how it works so we've got an error here key point colors predict key point colors so pose estimation has no attribute key point color so let's go through and face this Oh, okay so this should be key points and not key points so i think that's all we need to do let's run it again and fingers crossed make sure your fingers are crossed because i think it's going to run now and here we go guys wow post detection in action yellow nas guys and this is them are great look at it we are getting the 88 87 84 89 this is them are great look at how stable it is i think the desi team is doing a great job desi.ai they brought in this model and i think um <laughs> in terms of post estimation is the game changer this is working just nice look at how great is detecting the post so guys this is all we are going to do today if you like this video give me a thumbs up share it with one or two of your friends which i'll be grateful and also subscribe and turn on the notification bell icon on so that you don't miss any of my future videos you can go ahead and try this on different video files and let me know your response in the comment section in upcoming tutorial we will learn how to extract this point and build something relevant and useful as out of it so stay tuned and i'll see you in my next tutorial